first of all, I'm just going to do straightening. So here's a photograph, a crooked photograph, obviously. And then if you go under here, this is another camera raw setting here. And you go under your filter and you choose the camera raw filter. There's a setting here called upright. And this is under our lens correction, under manual, you'll see upright. And there's different options. One of them is straighten. Click here and it will automatically straighten the photograph for you. So a very, very quick and easy way to straighten a photo. But it gets much, much better than that. I just want to show you that. Let's open this one. And let's look at the settings. There's four basic settings. The first one is an automatic setting, which will go here, and will kind of correct some of the perspective while maintaining some, because you know how when it has a little bit of perspective, things look a little bit more realistic than if they're you know, completely you know, un unperspected, <laughs> if that's such a word. <laughs> um, so we can do the straightening, which I'm not going to do. We can also do only vertical. And then here's the funky one. You go here, you do full. So we'll go from this to this in one click. You know, it's pretty, pretty cool. So if you didn't actually get in front of something and you were shooting it from an angle, you can make it look like you got in front of it. Let me show you another one. We're going to go here, open this up, and uh, notice also we can show a grid. We can turn the grid on and we can change the size of the grid. That will help us to straighten this up. So we can go here and check this out. If I choose the full adjustment on this, look at that. It's going from that to that. Now, there's other things you can do here. Um, you know, if we do the automatic one here, you can manually adjust some of these settings here. And this is all non-destructive. And here's a new one is aspect. This is one, you know, when they say the camera adds 20 pounds? This is how you remove 20 pounds. You just click it here, and you make it skinny. <laughs> so you can make it skinny. You can make it fat. So you've got, you know, different options there. I'm just going to go back under the... Um, adjustment here. Why would I want to go from here to here? Because it's almost giving it an oblique look, isn't it? So here's something about this. If I open this image by straightening it up, what it enables me to do is to create custom brushes and textures now without them being warped. Because if that had been on the angle and say I wanted to do a uh, custom brush from the flag here and I'd done it at that angle, I would have only ever been able to use that brush if I was working at that angle. Now I can simply make a selection around here and choose to edit, define, custom brush. So I just choosing under the edit menu, define brush preset. And there we go. Now I've got a flag brush. So I can choose a new document, grab a brush, and I can begin to paint with my brush tool here. Go up here, grab the preset, move to the bottom, and now I can paint with that brush. Okay, here's another thing I'm just going to quickly show you, just a tip that has absolutely nothing to do with new features, but it's super useful. When creating a brush, here's how to make a better brush, because you need contrast. So what we do is we just go up here and use the black and white adjustment. With the black and white adjustment, this has this little sign here. See this little thing that looks like how you wave at people in LA when you're driving? <laughs> if you click and drag on the colors, it will, like right now, we can make the red lighter or darker. We can do the same on the blue. Let's make the blue dark. So what I've done is I've added a lot of contrast here. Come on, click to select it. Let's go over here and we'll just merge it down. And now I'm just going to choose Edit, Define Brush Preset once again. Now, if you want to compare this brush, let's grab our brush tool, go down here, grab the new one, and look at how much more contrast is in that brush. Doesn't seem that spectacular until you decide you want to work with a color. You know, we're using color. That one there versus the one that we didn't adjust the contrast on, and you get that. Looks washed out. So that's just a little tip there for creating custom brushes.